applications on Android use all sorts of methods to track your usage. Whether this means it's collecting your country of origin or simply just your device orientation. Tons of data points are being collected by various Android apps, but we can actually block those attempts quite easily. This is thanks to a privacy protection feature from DuckDuckGo, and it can stop these companies from logging this data on their servers, potentially even selling said data to other third-party companies. To set this up, we first need to install the DuckDuckGo application. You may have heard of this company before, as they are a fairly well-known privacy-focused search engine. I'll be sure to have this app linked in the video description below, as it is free to download from the Google Play Store. And this will also be included in the pinned comment as well, so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once the application has been installed, go ahead and open it up, grant access to notifications, and then they have an onboarding system. The application will want you to set it up as your default web browser for your phone, but this is actually not required. So we're gonna tap on choose your browser, keep it as Chrome, and just tap on cancel. Once you get to this page here, we're going to tap on the three dot menu icon in the top right and then dive into the settings area. Now we're going to look for a feature labeled app tracking protection and tap on it. We get another onboarding screen here. We're just going to go continue through all of this. And then we're going to grant the ability for the app to set up a VPN. So tap on OK, and then you should be told that app tracking protection has now been enabled. So on this screen, you're going to get a summary page that you can keep an eye on. It'll tell you stuff like how many data collection attempts have been blocked and how many apps those attempts have come from. We can scroll down a bit and see how many of your apps this app tracking protection service is monitoring. So we have 29 apps that are being monitored here, along with how many apps that have been excluded from this service by default. And we can always go in here and manually enable tracking protection for those individual apps. However, it's generally not advised unless you are aware this can cause some issues. But if it does, you can just go back to this page here and disable tracking protection for that app again. Then when we tap in to see all of the apps tracking protection is enabled for, we can actually disable tracking protection for individual apps. Which may be useful for you if you come across an application that refuses to function properly because it has not been granted access to your data. Once you have the app tracking protection set up within the DuckDuckGo application on Android, go ahead and let it run in the background for a day or two. You'll be surprised to learn which of your apps are logging data points about you and your device. You can even tap on one of those entries to learn more about what has actually been blocked, including how many attempts were made and which pieces of data the application tried to collect. Because this feature uses a VPN to block all of these attempts, you're unlikely to see a big difference in battery usage here. Your traffic is just being routed through DuckDuckGo's servers so that their firewall can identify and block these tracking attempts. It's actually quite similar to using a VPN to block ads, but this blacklist is set up to block data tracking details instead. And if for nothing else, it's actually an eye opener to realize just how many data points are being tracked from your device at any given time. Let me know if you have any issues setting this up on your Android smartphone or tablet. 
And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.